Hello my friends and welcome back to episode 6 of Motorsport Manager uh, with Predator Racing. Today is race day 6 out of 10 and truthfully we've got another upgrade. Santa Ana has another new gearbox managing to push out everything that we can uh, for big you know, developments for next season. Still hoping to get... Um, what's it called? The engine stock for next year, which would be a big help to us. We've not developed that at all. Um, on the hope of that, obviously, if that changes, we're going to keep some money aside between now and then to really charge on. Did also have a option to put a vote forward. Uh, eight laps, so that'd be a three-stop strategy, a uh, two-stop strategy we could maybe get away with. Yeah, fairly content with that. How much laps of fuel? Yeah, happy with that. See if we can do... 10 10 or 8 16 rather um on both cars here um so i was looking at trying to maybe get the gearbox which is actually probably our best part right now but i thought it would save more money which we could then invest in the actual race and stuff um uh, or the foundation of the team the you know the infrastructure and whatnot for going forward unfortunately i don't think that's going to be possible i've sort of backed out of it on the basis purely of it was going to cost a million pounds and it was a 50 50 on if it went through or not and i didn't want to use my extra vote on that when we've not you know gone for the engines uh, we're switching to santana who for the first time in a long time has overtaken frankie Kane. Uh, although we're in a bit of a battle with ourselves here um, I don't want to, you know, use team orders. Santa Ana has now fallen behind him. And fortunately, again, just getting a bit sandwiched here. Much more punishing course for us. We did have decent setups, but not quite working out in terms of actual race pace just now. We do have Vancouver next season, so full 11 races next season, which is worth about £11 million. Pounds. Uh, roughly 11 to 15 million pound over the course of the season which we can then invest in the team of course so hopefully we can get lots of you know development going and we can really push if we can win the title we will get the achievement i don't think it'll be possible uh, yellow flag as elsa that has crashed uh, and there was no other rule changes i was really interested in putting forward so again i'll have a look everything's going on the engine this year Maybe we can work out something for next year as well. Um, you know, the more parts we have stock, the more money we get to put in the infrastructure, which will benefit us going up in the leagues or the championships. Um, we are struggling here a bit. Uh, 14th and 16th. This just has not been our track. In all honesty, uh, Santa Ana right on the back of San uh, Frank Kinney here. Uh, are we switching drivers because we're always going to just follow the lead driver at the minute because you know that makes sense we do have equal driver status which is interesting the new gearbox is a big upgrade but once it's developed properly will be a huge upgrade for next season and i think i'm going to come off reliability now because and you know focus on purely on performance and the hope apart from maybe that suspension uh we will actually put santana now um get you in fact actually we're going to the medium tires here because you've really not got anything out of those tires because i've uh, had you on push the whole time not thinking about it because you know logic and whatnot so we'll do that yeah we will bring you back on the medium medium frankie uh santa anna will actually overtake frank Kinney, who will take the lead driver slot as she goes into the pits we've got a strategy all wrong today really um he will come in at the end of this lap as well do the exact same thing uh, go for the full uh, bits and see how he goes his tires are off the cliff and you can see with the other team's tires how badly i've got this in that context so we're going to go medium medium on santa Ana. see how much we can get out of her and um, see if we can you know salvage the strategy of this race just a little bit oh i thought that was a clip there see if santa Ana can catch up with frankie here um 
This is going to be close. It's going to be close. Santa Ana does indeed leapfrog her teammate, but we are running last and second last with the earliest pit stops. But that gives us free running now, where they're all hopefully battling with each other. And we have fresh boots on, so hopefully we can continue to progress. Um, so as said, we do have some big upgrades in terms of the gearbox, and we did get enough reliability into it to use it today. I think I will maybe use some reliability on that, but the most important thing is now getting the performance for next season into the car and really, you know, pushing that development in the right direction. We are now stuck behind everyone else. Uh, unfortunately, we have lost positions through the pit stop windows. Uh, trying to balance our pit stop crew team as well. Make sure we've got enough money to keep all them hired and in good neck. Because uh, some of them are decent, some of them aren't. We have managed to jump a position. We've jumped Tang and Vananan, uh, which puts us back into this fight now. Uh, unfortunately, Dettenbelli and Valdez, who are the two that we need to beat, really, are still ahead of us uh, just now. Uh, but we are looking good. We are improving the car. You know, we can see a bit more competitiveness about us. We're not just running miles off the pace anymore we are you know quite quickly catching up with that pace and i think one more season we could be competitive at the end of it um in terms of at the front end of the grid uh, suspension issues for you that's fine we can ignore that just now condition is 17 percent we do need to improve that suspension then uh, did i bring a new suspension i can't remember i got to this uh, the practice session and then i had to go out so i can't actually remember Hopefully it's not too much of an issue for Frankie. We can probably put him in about three laps time. Um, Botang rang wide there. Uh, still managing to stay ahead of Frankie Kinney, unfortunately. As uh, Santa Ana, you know, she's fighting. She is fighting with an Annan. Um, but I think that car is just too good. Uh, how far are we behind? That is Dembele, one car lane from front. So that's positive. I am going to put Kane on to push because he is going to have to come in soon. Not in terms of the suspension but in the car, but in terms of the tyres we'll push. Um, see if we can get you know anything out of that. He is going to have to change that suspension. There's no two ways around that. Um, if we can get the fact that he upgraded, you know, we can really push reliability out next season and you obviously get the build up to the season where you can improve reliability of parts as well so that would be very very helpful and in fact i'm probably going to look into doing that for most of next season if we can you know we've got very little outgoings in terms of front wings don't need to be developed rear wings don't need to be developed and hopefully engines if engines need to be developed we're in trouble um realistically that's why that vote is so so important for this series going forward frankie can now pet um and we'll fill him up, hopefully get him to the end of the race on a fresh set of mediums, if I have selected that, yes I have. Um, so he can pit now, uh, condition still not good enough for me to feel comfortable pushing. Hopefully he gets a good pit stop. Uh, Santa Ana has another lap's worth of fuel in her, so she'll go in the lap after, so it's not changed strategy in that sense. Doesn't look like we've got any rain coming, so that's positive. Um, if Santa Ana can, you know, just maintain 17th, it's a bit of a win. Frankie comes in for his second stop now. Um, oh, she's got gearbox issues. That's new. Oh, it's that new gearbox. I have got reliability into it, but not on enough, obviously. So, um, that's not ideal. Um, we are still having reliability issues while everyone else seems to be okay. Um, and that's a bit of a shame. So, we need nine laps worth of fuel for you. Uh, will we be able to get the soft compound out? Yes, we can. And we can fix that. It's a 31 second pit stop, unfortunately. So we'll switch to Frankie, see if he can catch up with Inez Santana uh, and overtake her through her long pit stop. Your dear Jack, complete. Right tyres, complete. That complete gearbox still repairing. Oh, comfortably in front. Repairs, I'm now hit Santa Ana these days. It's not something she's had to deal with at all this season compared to Frankie, who's had to deal with it almost every single race. Uh, and that's probably his fastest pit stop. But he's not actually last, he's ahead of Valdez. That's positive. Uh, maybe Valdez has had some issues as well. Other cars in the pits, but not getting repairs. Four seconds ahead of Valdez right now uh, for him. And only a few seconds behind for 
Santana again. Uh, so, you know, we're miles behind everyone else. Let's be honest, we're not catching anyone else unless they have to make repairs. This is our fight now is with Valdez. A driver who, if I remember right, led a race for me by a country mile in the ZRT series and crashed out. Um, but it was good other than that. Uh, and he'd done that a few times, which was very, very annoying. But right now, Frankie Kinney is doing a decent job, his fastest third sector of the race in the last lap. So that's positive things. He's punching with his own sector times in sector one and two as well, I think. On these medium tyres, if you can just see them to the end. Santa Ana is on the soft compound. We can probably push the cars a little bit, actually. In fact, you can stop pushing those tyres because you will not see the end on them otherwise. And we need you to see the end in them. Um, so it might actually be worth conserving just a little bit because I've not realised I've had one push. It's not ideal when you do not realise what you're doing. Uh, we can push the engine though, so we can balance that out a little bit. And that should bring the temperature down as well, uh, which will bring, bring him into a better running temperature, which will save a bit of deg uh, overall and maybe hopefully keep the pace up. Uh, but he is on his fastest... Uh, he is sort of getting caught up a little bit now by Valdez, so we need to monitor that as much as we can. Santa Ana might be catching this pack as well, despite that long gear box change. She's not had the best of season, and to be honest, I think if we've got the money at the end of the season, switching her out for a new driver might not be the worst idea that we have. Uh, particularly if we can find one with good marketability. If they've got good marketability and a pay driver much similar to Frankie Kinney, then that would be a best case scenario, I think. If we could, you know, even have three star sponsors, that would be great because that's more sponsor opportunities and better quality sponsors brings in more money. Is Frankie Kinney still doing a decent job here? He's maintaining that two second gap. Santa Ana down to about five seconds behind. She needs to start conserving her tires as well, though, otherwise she won't make the end. In fact, no, she's got plenty of tire life. In fact, we can go back on pushing on the tires for probably both drivers, actually. Uh, gearbox, we do have to bring you back down on a medium uh, engine mode. And the gap down to a second is clearly Valdez is going for it now that he's seen that Frankie's got a problem. Hopefully, Frankie can keep Valdez behind him. Come on, Frankie. You can do it. We've got another lap, though, I think, actually. Don't think we're a lap behind here, which means we're on the lead lap, which is positive things. But it does mean that we've got to stress for another lap. I'd rather just us finish there, having been lapped or something, by uh, Sevdabo, uh, who won this race. Yeah, um, But it was looking fairly good. Frankie Kinney, if he can stay in front of Valdez, that's point in the bag for us against ZRT. Obviously, Dembele's taking too many points against us to make it a dent. But it's, you know, a decent out in. Without the repairs, I think we'd be punching with Dembele and Chu. Sort of region between Chu and Tang is what I'd be thinking. So... The car is getting better. We just need to get that reliability up. But also while well improving this performance so that we've got a better car for next season. Uh, we've got three races left of this season. No risk of all break, of course. Uh, so it's balancing what um, reliability we need. We are 20 points behind now, ZRT. So we are going to finish 10th. That is kind of a done deal now. Not being able to push anywhere near enough out the car. Obviously, if we produced an engine... It might have been different, but, you know, it's a lot of money to then not need it next season kind of thing. And it's obviously a big upgrade. We get $1.2 million for that race. I'm not sure if we're going to spend that or not. I don't think we will. But, um, where are we just now? Yeah, so design parts. So, as you can see, if we go to fit parts, this is our current situation. So, we've got two sets of brakes. This set of brakes we need to really be upgrading. Um... This we need to be upgraded, and if we can get that up to 115, if we can, we can get this to 132. Big, big performance gains. Uh, that's 115, and engine, obviously, we've not touched. That vote should be fairly soon, one week for that vote, so we'll know that pretty soon. We'll know that by the next race, actually, um, whether we're getting that or not. 
and whether we need to adjust that or not. Um, we're going to try and improve that, that's fine. Um, but guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. And I'll hopefully catch you all next time for Guildford, which is, of course, the Motorsport Manager version of Silverstone. I will see you there.